Right, so I'm inside the home of Albion Rovers and I wasn't expecting this as I came through the main gates just there. Meerkats, gnomes, birds, ducks, as well as a little memorial to, I guess, fans of the club who have passed away. I'm supposed to be, uh, yeah, I have been invited. I haven't just come in here just now. But yeah, let's uh, go get the first impressions of the ground. I'm excited to see this one. Wow, look at this, chilly morning. I've been here before, but I was out side and you could see in kind of I think it was over there behind me but yes uh, just check out a few of these shots So we're now inside the home of Albion Rovers, a club I've wanted to come and see for a long time. Look at that, I'm now in the Jock Steen Lounge. Let me tell you a little bit more about why there's a lounge named after one of Scotland's greatest ever managers. So yeah, legendary manager Jock Steen joined this club as a player in 1942 from local team Blantyre Victoria. I've covered his time at Blantyre Vicks in my Blantyre Victoria video, uh, I think I titled it The Football Legend Factory, as a few big names have come through at that club. And they're only a small like non-league team as well, so quite amazing if you consider the players and the managers who have come through there. So yeah, I've covered his time at Blantyre Vicks as well as Celtic, and now's the turn of Albion Rovers where he's played. All I need to do next is go to Llanethley Town, in Wales and I'll have completed the Jock Steen playing set. He played around a hundred times for Rovers, even clinching a promotion from second tier to the first tier one season. Jock would later go on to win the European Cup with Celtic as a manager. So yeah, such a legendary man and he has a lounge named after him here at the stadium now. So they're obviously very proud of uh, yeah one of their ex-players, Jock Steen, and they should be too. Here is a brief history of Albion Rovers as a football club and yeah they were formed in 1882 uh, through the mixing of two clubs in Coatbridge Albion FC and Rovers FC hence the name today Albion Rovers FC and there they are in 1892 so yeah 10 years after their formation and they were originally a sports club where they'd play multiple sports lacrosse being one of them um, but yeah these days they are just a football club and yeah they um, started off as a sport club like a lot of clubs in Scotland would start as cricket clubs and stuff like that and they'd try and find a way for players to stay fit during the winter time and that's why the football teams were set up but yeah nowadays obviously football's a massive sport and spoken about Jock Steen being the manager here and there he is there as um, I came in here I was welcomed by a few of the people that work here at the club so thanks to them for showing me around they asked me on this picture which one is Jock Steen took me a few seconds but I got it eventually so fair enough that's some good knowledge please do hit a like for that kind of knowledge and yeah a few more um, facts about them so the Wee Rovers is their name so obviously Albion Rovers they are known as the Wee Rovers is their nickname founded in 1882 like I said they wear yellow and black although it's more like yellow and red I think they're kind of Watfordy in their colours but you can see from their badge up there the red and the black division two two champions they've been in the 30s division two champions then in the 80s scottish qualifying cup in the early 1900s their record attendance here was against rangers in 1936 27,000 people they've won 12 nil against airdrie hill in 1887 and they lost 11 one to pike thistle in a bit more modern times of 1993 Albion Rovers even reached the Scottish Cup final in 1920, so over 100 years ago now. We're now at the end of 2020, so there they are, the team of 100 years ago. Lost 3-2 against Killy in the final in front of over 95,000 people. And this man, the goalkeeper, had been out the night before. This is what the guys were just telling me. He was out the night before, got in such a wreck that he got arrested and the team had to bail him out for the final which they went on to lose maybe they'd have won if uh, if he'd have had a clear head that day who knows
Again, a really, really welcoming club here and amazing to meet the people who are working here today on the board, through the social media team, that kind of stuff. And yeah, a huge thanks to them for reaching out and allowing me to now come and be on the centre circle here at Albion Rovers, Clifton Hill. What a famous old stadium. Yeah, and amazing to be here on a pitch that is almost 101 years old. It was opened on Christmas Day, 1919. So yeah, on Christmas Day this year, it will have been 101 years. And look at this, another rare sight. Two in two days, real green, natural, legitimate, brilliant grass. Can't beat a grass pitch. And look at this, the sun's coming out now. What a beautiful day to come here and film at Clifton Hill. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of that stand over there in a sec because there's something really classic about it and about the seats and stuff that I absolutely love. But yeah, I'm gonna get a few shots from around here. Look at that, what a view. Sun's out, a bit of frost on the pitch. Oh, you can't beat it, can you? To think that the great Jock Steen has played here, to think of all the players and clubs that have played here over the 101 years that this ground has been here. And look, there's a little bit of space here between stand and pitch. And that is because they used to have Speedway here. And look, this is what I love about Scottish stadiums in particular. Imagine coming to watch a game and like standing here on the terracing, like think how long it's been here and yeah, just like, look how different it is to an Emirates or an Allianz Arena. Big, shiny, but soulless compared to historic, rugged and atmospheric, let's say. And yeah, again, a huge thanks to Albion Rovers FC and yeah, the guys that I've met today for letting me come in and have a look around. It doesn't get much better than this. They said, come in, we'll show you around, we'll show you where to go, and off you go and film what you want. That is perfect. I'm even allowed in the penalty box. <laughs> Look at this, ready? Wooden, wooden seats. Can you believe it? That's how all grounds would have been back in the day. I'm not sure how many of them still exist, but just look, these old wooden seats. Absolutely amazing. It's like stepping into a time machine and coming to look at the ground. And here is even the remains of one of the very first floodlights that would ever have been used here. As you can see, look, there's the floodlights over there and over there and over there. But this is what would have been from back in the day. And they could have removed this, but I love that they've kept it. Look, the old metal of the old floodlights and the concrete that it would have been like built within. Just a nice little touch, a nice little piece of the past. So there it is, the home of Albion Rovers, buzzing that I've been in there. And this is the We Rovers Lotto. So if you want to um, be a part of the club at the moment and potentially even win a prize and yeah, help the club financially in these strange times, then I will leave a link below here to the lotto where you can yeah, support the club, even maybe win something for yourself. And yeah, just be a part of what Albion Rovers are trying to achieve at the moment. Please do remember to hit that like button and drop me a comment if you're an Albion Rovers fan or want me to go to another stadium next. Subscribe if you aren't already and thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.